hello everybody in this video i'm going to show you how to fix black screen or loading screen error in pps pp on android yeah, i'm not a very big gameaholic person i just love adventurous games so i keep on watching reviews of games so when i was watching pps pp reviews under the game reviews of smackdown vs raw 2006 2007 2008 i saw many comments people saying that how uh, people asking the uh, owner of that video that how you can play it so smooth and like for us it shows black screen error for some people it lags for some people it shows black screen or loading screen error you are like stuck on the loading screen you can't move forward sometimes it's uh, completely black screen is completely black so i have come up with the solution to that problem then maybe uh, it happens with many other games also but i just uh, read these comments under these games mm, this is just for uh, those people so first of all let me show you what the error is i am using samsung galaxy s4 here's pps pp so let me go to my external sd card where i have the game uh, yeah pps pp pp ps pf say smagnos is row 2008 just see this is the loading screen here it's stuck you can't move do anything even going back does not work you can't touch any key so this is basically the problem so uh, here for me it's showing loading screen for some people it's stuck at black screen so here i have come up with the solution to this problem you can't do anything just see pressing menu key or back key does not work so all the way you have to press home screen oh, oh. this uh, key, uh, middle home screen key and go all the way back to the home screen so here is the sol uh, solution to this problem first of all go to settings go to application manager mm, here is somewhere find uh, search for pps pp clear cache clear data for stop and then uninstall the app yes so now go back just move the uh, now go to the link which is provided in the description here's here's the link it's a zip share link it will be there in the description box uh, this is basically the pps is pp version mm, 9.9.1 i hope you can say it pps is pp version 0.9.9.1 so basically whenever i get uh, such type of problems i go for the older versions of that software here when uh, when i uh, read those comments i tried to go to the older versions of this software and i found that it works with uh, this this version 9.9.1 and old so just click on download now here just uh, remove this hit okay okay so wait it's loading no 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 okay once again let's click download now okay so just click here and close this page now click here now it will show like this type of file can harm your device do you want to keep just click okay so here download starts so i'll come back it's just a uh, 17 mb so it won't take much time 17.09 mb it won't take much time to download so i'll come back after the download completes okay guys so now i have finished downloading the software software and i'm back so now just go to settings um go to my device and um, search for security somewhere i think it's in more yeah security now swipe down and make sure you check this option unknown resources it will be unchecked by default just click on that and click okay and check it so go to my files all files device memory download and this is the version pps oh uh, sorry i'm so sorry yeah pps is pp version 0.9.9.1 okay install it hmm 
it's in story. By the way, this LED is light, it's not visible, it's just visible on camera. So it's done. Okay, done. Let's go back and launch the software. Where is it? Yeah. Um, it's slipping out of my hands. So now let's go and launch the game. External SD card, uh, PSP. Uh, same Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. I don't know if it's visible or not to you guys. Just see. Issue has been sold. You can play this game very fine. Yes. Okay. Save successful. Okay. Go fuck off. Yeah. Press start button. And these are just default settings. Play now. Let's start. Yeah. Come on. Load as well. Just see this. Mm. It works so perfect, perfect on default settings. I have not done any change in the settings and just see. It's so cool. And that's just on default settings. Come on. Return game. And just see, it's just default settings and gameplay is not very bad. Now, still it's little bit slow, but I'll be showing you as the just see. Well, that was all about how to fix this error. And now, as the name of this video states, best settings for this software. So let's have a look at that. Go to settings, change buffer rendering to non buffer rendering. This will be at buffer uh, uh, what else you want to say yes this, uh, there's a tip for you guys if this does not work known uh, buffer ending does not work for you guys then just keep it default on buffer ending because on some games like kingdom hearts uh, this if you click on non buffer endings that game lags like hell so just keep on buffer ending for those for those types of games uh, frame skip i'm changing it to one yes um nothing to do over here yes this display resolution i'm gonna change it to 4 into psp uh, for some low end devices when you change the resolution to 4 into psp i think they will go it will show like psps pps pps toad working so you just like uh, leave it at default 2 into psp but i recommend to try at least once here i'm gonna uncheck software skinning and uh, just click on uh, uh, what to say lazy uh, texture caching retain uh, change textures disable slower effects and i'm going to change this spine slash bezier curves quality to medium instead of high so let's scroll all the way to down and here's like disable alpha test and click texture code speed uh, hack okay so now go to audio and I'm gonna disable the sound mostly they it will not show a big difference but still game com becomes a little bit faster when you disable the sound now go to system uncheck IO on thread and click multi thread uh, yes that's all I guess this is enough still let's have a look once more at graphic settings uh, I think these are the settings that I used last time yes so now I'm gonna relaunch the game and hope this is it's faster this time oh shoot it's not showing on screen touch controls wait um, I don't know what's gone wrong I have uh, lost the on screen touch controls but don't worry I'll give you a solution for that go exit to main menu go to settings scroll all the way down and uh, here's what we checked before disable alpha text uh, alpha test speed up so we are gonna uncheck that back so again it will launch so here we have got our controls back usually i use a controller for this uh, P psp uh, ppss pp so i don't i uh, before today i never noticed that controls uh, if we click uh, what you say if we check disable alpha test we will lose the controls i never noticed that because i use uh, i always disable on screen touch controls because i use a controller so let's click exhibition normal match and I hope 
these are the best settings first time I'm trying the settings without disabling alpha uh, without checking the disabled alpha test let's see how it works I always enable that yeah it's fine mm, I think there's a little bit enhancement in the performance so I'll show you why these settings are best normally in other videos or oh, for people showing best settings for PSP and all extra uh, PPSS PP you notice that those people just play this type of single one on one matches and show you best setting and just see by the way these are this game is working so fast now so yeah what I was talking about people show you just people just show you what you say uh, one on one matches uh, in WWE game showing you like these are the best settings but I'm gonna show you why my settings are best now as you have seen one on one matches works perfect so now I'm gonna show you why these settings are best I'm gonna try six ma elimination chamber match normally when you try on big matches in PP since PP the emulator stops working and it goes off and the emulator stops but stops working or sometimes the graphics you lose the graphics you lose the colors in the games you just see like some icons uh, moving here and there so I'm gonna show you that why these settings are best let's move on to six man match I'm gonna go on elimination chamber normal six man match so mm, my entry order will be at number one let's select all of them just see this it works so fine well uh, I have tried it on low end device also I have a China tablet I have tried on that and this just see this even a six man elimination chamber match is so fast with these settings these are surely best settings if you are looking for any best settings I'm, I will advise you to use these settings Uh, I just want to climb on that but I am unable to do that it's really hard to do that on on screen touch controls but whether if it's a controller it's really easy for you mm, okay let's try and beat Ric Flair yeah now it's a little bit now I can climb but Ric Flair is lying too far let's go on this cell I want him to come near me here he is shoot I fall down so okay thank you for watching guys you have seen why these settings are best and uh, you have seen this solution to the problem of black screen or loading screen error in PSP PPSS PP or PSP emulator so hope this helps you out guys and uh, by the way these settings are really uh, these settings are my own I have not copied these settings from any video and these settings I, just, uh, I was always trying on different settings for game and I came across these settings and these are really best settings I was so amazed when I saw a six man match working so fine on this emulator thanks for watching guys see you in my next video